Premature death. People with schizophrenia die early. Suicide, of course. 15% of people with schizophrenia kill themselves. The time when you worry about suicide is at the height of the illness, if it's a depressive illness. People with schizophrenia are much more likely to kill themselves when they're better. I remember this poor chap. He was the white sheep of the family. All the rest of the family were petty criminals, shoplifting, social security fraud, bit of larceny, and so on and so forth. And he was the only one of the family who had a regular settled job and was honest. And then he developed schizophrenia. However, he came into hospital. He did very well. He went to day hospital. He was doing splendidly. He was really much better. And we were beginning to think of him going back to work. And then he stood in front of a train and killed himself. It was very sad. One needs to be aware of the risk of suicide. However, I remember somebody else who had a different sort of problem. Here, the BBC were listening in to his thoughts and broadcasting them on BBC Two. And this had been going on for some time. We persuaded him to take some medicine. And the BBC lost all interest in him. And really, his life was quite empty. And he was really quite sad. However, we persuaded him to take some antidepressants. And then he rediscovered his garden. And all was all right. People with schizophrenia quite commonly develop depressive symptoms as well. And you should never hesitate to give antidepressants to somebody suffering from schizophrenia if you think it's indicated. And I'm sure that's one of the factors which leads to suicide. The other, of course, is that it may well be that when they're better, they see all that they have lost due to their illness. So one needs to be aware of the risk. A registrar of mine had a look at the notes of people who had attended a long-acting depot injection clinic 17 years ago. And he found that out of 100 people, 13 people had died. Three of them had died by suicide. However, 10 had died by natural causes. And they were all sorts of different natural causes. There was no one that you could say, ah, that's more likely. The average age of death was 59. Now, I think that is a shameful statistic. And we do know that people, particularly those with a severe disabling schizophrenia, have a poor life expectancy. OK. A lot of them are overweight. Most of them smoke. Most of them are pretty inactive. They eat junk food. Some of them actually are not that good at washing. And all these factors will tend towards an earlier death. And in the care of them, if they can be counted, that would be good. Two other factors make the care of people with schizophrenia difficult. One is that sometimes they have an amazing stoicism. In the bad old days, if you went to a long-stay hospital and you saw a lady in a flimsy summer dress and carpet slippers walking about in the snow, you would know that she had a long-term schizophrenia. They can be very stoical, very uncomplaining. This makes it hard to pick up some other physical illness. Contrarywise, some people actually develop a mild grumbling hypochondriasis so that they're always complaining of some physical complaint or other. Both of these can make it very difficult to find other serious illness in somebody with schizophrenia. But what I would beg all doctors who meet them is not to put everything down to the schizophrenic illness, but to be aware that they can develop other illnesses, as can the rest of us.